my friends. Welcome to God Focus this morning. The title of today's episode is Switchback. A switchback is a road that is somewhat like a roller coaster with rises and falls, twists and turns. But when it comes to train tracks, the trains and the tracks are laid out with as little twists as possible. Switchback is a term used when a train climbs a mountain in a zigzag pattern. It will go forward up a hill sideways and it passes a switch which allows the train to switch directions. Then it will go in reverse, climbing the hill in elevation, even though it appears to be backing up. Once it gets past a certain point, the switch can be thrown for it to climb forward again, and it repeats until the train has climbed the steep mountain to the top. It would have been too hard for it to climb straight up the hill. And many times we want to go at things the fastest way, the difficult way just to get to the top. It is at these times that we do not realize we cannot climb to the top without the switchbacks of life. In our lives, there will be times when we feel like we will never see the top of the mountain. The process of climbing is taking a long time. Standing at the bottom of the mountain looking at the steep incline, we are not sure there is a way to even get to the top. It seems too monumental to try to climb, but Jesus is there with the answer, but he only gives us one step at a time, so we have to trust that he will get us where we're going. Letting go of our ideas of how to get there and just allowing him to lead us is the first step. We cannot possibly see the reversals ahead, but we have to trust that even in the reversals, he is elevating us. We go so far and then we have to make a switch back. At this time, it seems like we're losing ground by going in reverse, but all along we are climbing in wisdom and understanding. In the case of a switchback, reverse is not losing ground. Remember, the train is still climbing. It just appears to be losing ground. Life often throws us things that makes us feel like we're in reverse or losing ground. But when we look back a little later, the switchback sets us up to climb higher and reach our final destiny. 1 Peter 4, 12, and 13. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Fiery trials are allowed to enter our lives for different reasons. Some are to grow us and make us stronger. Others are to burn out impurities and make us more like Jesus. While in the middle of the process, we may feel like we are backing up or losing ground. The fiery trials make us partakers of Christ's suffering. But one day we will look around and find the things that appeared to be failures and reversals or actually steps forward. Remember when the train is in reverse, it is still climbing. We cannot allow the things that happen to cause us to fall even when we seem to be going in reverse. We need to pray and ask God to help us climb higher. He has the ability to turn reversals into triumphs. He turns pain into joy and fiery trials into glory. If the trials of life will eventually bring us joy, then they also give us strength because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Psalms 84 and 7, they go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. Jesus went all the trouble to lay the tracks with the switchbacks to help our journey. The same one will elevate us and give us what we need to keep climbing. John sixteen thirty three, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. There's not a trial we face, not a mountain that needs climbing, not a river too deep to cross that he is not with us. We can be encouraged that even in the times when it looks like we are suffering a reversal, he is there to say, no, you are in the middle of an elevation. This is why we walk by faith and not by sight. Looking at the reversal could be discouraging because it appears to be going backwards and no one ever wants to lose ground, especially in a battle. Faith says we are not going down, we're not going under, but we're rising above like an eagle. Psalms 37, 23, and 24. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him 
with his hand. As long as we allow God to order our steps, even if we fall, he is there to lift us up. The word upholdeth is defined by dictionarycambridge.org to defend or keep a principle or law, or to say that a decision that has already been made, especially a legal one, is correct. God holds us up with his hand even when we fall. Get an image of a toddler walking beside of their parent and they fall, but because the parent has a hold on their hand, they lift them up before they are completely on the ground. Though we fall, God will keep us from completely falling flat. We can be encouraged that we never walk alone. He is holding our hand, even when things look like they are going the wrong way. God is raising us higher, just like the train on a switchback. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focused. Like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Have a wonderful day.